Hello Pisces and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. You know, I'm getting the sense that um, this could be your energy, it could be your person's energy, so reverse the roles if you have to, okay? Um, and yeah, I'm jumping right into this. Thank you everybody for all of your support. I do mean that, I really do. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like um, there's some kind of abusive home situation here. And somebody is going to have to face the facts. They need to read between the lines here. They, they, they need to see into the future a little bit. Where is this actually going to go? Um, there is a home situation. Um, yeah, I just feel like they're afraid in their own home or they're afraid to go home. Somebody here is afraid of their, oh, because it's they're being haunted. Okay, now we're getting into like, um, we're getting into like some spell work, some energy here. There could be an entity in this home. Somebody's going to have to move or, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it's relationship based. I feel like whoever they're having a relationship with they're being haunted um, by spirit guides, something. I feel like somebody tried to get in the way of, the, of a connection here, um, maybe by doing some spell work. Now, uh, whatever entities they've unleashed, it's in their home, or they're being haunted by spirit guides, ancestors, okay? Um, they're afraid. They're scared. They're gonna. They're thinking they. They're gonna have to move. Or I feel like this is just look. It, and it's a toxic relationship too. Um, I'm telling you, things are getting broken in this house. There's fighting going on. It could be getting physical. Um, I, and I feel like it's because they they try to ruin a relationship. Okay. Um, somebody can't stop thinking about their ex here. This Look, this is a good relationship. And this, I feel, is a bad relationship. And they are being haunted here. It's going, things are going nutty. Broken things, okay? I'm hearing glass breaking, pictures flying off of walls. Like, it's getting crazy in this house. I don't know whose energy this is, you guys, but... I don't want it on my board. I'm telling you. Um, yeah, they're being haunted. Oh, man. And look at shadow figures. Um, you know, yeah, somebody here is lying. Or, or I feel like they're both lying to each other. They're both miserable. Um, I feel like there's a karmic here. Maybe even together they did some spell work. I feel like um, somebody, there's an ex here of yours that can't stop thinking about you and wanting this re this good relationship, this good positive connection back. They're seeing they're seeing shadow figures in their home. Okay. Somebody here too. I feel like whoever was issuing the spell work, um, they had some hidden motives. I feel like it they just wanted to win at all costs or. It could be for property or money, but they're getting haunted in this home. Uh, whether it's an entity from the spell work that they've unleashed, um, or whether it's spirit guides or ancestors, they're being haunted here. This is a haunted house now. Yeah, and they've both been lying to each other. They're both miserable. It's turned, it's turned very toxic, okay? Um, there's a lot of fighting, a lot of codependency. Um, it's getting bad in this home situation. What else can you show me here? I mean, it's almost like poltergeist activity in their house. And I feel like things are getting busted, broken, maybe from the physical fighting or from the haunting. Okay. Okay. But they are definitely getting haunted. It's causing these people a lot of stress, a lot of panic attacks. They cannot rest in this home. The divine or whatever entity, they're seeing shadow figures. They're being scared. They're, I feel like they're terrified. They're terrified to go home, to be there. 
because it and it it makes their toxicity even worse okay it makes their anxiety or any kind of mental illness it's making it worse it's making the fighting worse right everything is just getting worse for these people meanwhile you know they'll walk from a living room into the kitchen and see a, a shadow figure standing in front of them i mean you know they're freaked out right now they're showing some odd behavior maybe doing a lot of drinking that's going to make it even worse because i feel like the energy kind of any negative energy is going to feed off of that or they can't they it's going to make them un, unable to think clearly okay um they need to get out of that situation i feel like they both need out i i gotta say these are both human beings okay um that live in fear and anxiety and a lot of fighting and numbing and drinking. I feel like they both need to get out of that situation. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how they can live like this. I honestly don't know how they can live like this. Like, it's bad. Their home could be a mess because of the fighting, because of the broken stuff. I'm seeing glass on the floor. I'm hearing a lot of screaming, um, wreckage in the home, right? That's really what I'm picking up on here. And, I, you know, somebody, you know, I feel like it's all about how somebody is in love with you. They just keep longing for you. They want out of the situation. There could be children involved in this, but I feel like this is ancestors, right? Ancestors coming in um to haunt these people because this this connection that has been put on delay this connection that with spell work or whatever energy they sent out there it's tried to block this connection right um this was supposed to be this is the good connection this is the bad connection it's that easy good connection bad connection okay and they refuse to let go of this of this negative, um, toxic situation. So now spirit is coming in. Entities are there because of the spell work. And there's a there's an all out spiritual war right in this home that they're in. I don't. I literally don't know how how they can stand it there. They're, these people are afraid to go home. But I think both of them are. Okay, meanwhile, yeah, there's this magnetic attraction here. This masculine just, I mean, they can't resist this. They do have romantic feelings for you. They're in love with you. They see this connection, this positive one, as being their happiness here. But they're dealing with the snake. I feel like they're both being snaky with each other, though. The masculine isn't showing any integrity. They're lying to the karmic. The karmic is... Um, trying to keep someone there just to win at all costs. Neither one of them are happy with each other anymore. There's a lot of codependency. There's a lot of numbing, alcohol, substance. Um, there's, uh, there's deception here. They're sleeping with the enemy in a, in a home that's haunted. Uh, in a toxic situation that's becoming volatile. I don't, honestly, what are they doing? Meanwhile, your connection is over here. A good, positive one that's happy. I don't know what they're doing. These people may be partiers. They party a lot. They could have a lot of get-togethers at their home, do a lot of drinking, you know, maybe smoking. Yeah, I've got an unexpected phone call here on the bottom of the deck, so um, you may hear from this person soon. You may hear from, while they're partying and drinking, you may hear from a, a karmic's friend or something like that. You know, out of the blue, these people start contacting you. Um, I don't know how they can, I don't know how they can live in that situation. Especially this masculine, they want out. Faded meeting, divine intervention. I feel like divine, the divine is going to burn things down over there. There could even be a house fire. 
okay? This home could could set up could set on fire. Um, yeah, and I you know what's meant to be just can't be changed. I feel like this there's a faded meeting coming here um, between you and this masculine. They're going to get out of the situation. I'm telling you, I feel like something's going to burn to the ground. I got to say it. I feel like divine is going to intervene with a massive tower moment. And whatever is going on in this home, it's going to go up in flames. Supernatural. Look, karma. Third party situations, interferences. For interfering in this divine connection. I feel like this is a divine connection here with divine intervention out here. Yeah. It's honestly, I mean, I can't even believe these two people are hanging on to this situation anymore. I gotta say, it is literally that bad, you guys. And it's going to take divide, the divine to come in and burn the place down in order for them to break free from this? While this beautiful connection is sitting out here just kind of scary? Yeah, it is. Divine is going to intervene, okay? These two are going to break up. This can't, this can't keep going on like this. Especially if there's, if there's evil or dark entities involved. I feel like the divine has to come in and bring this down to the ground, okay? Um, because it is a spiritual battle. And I feel like they're both going to get their karma because it's going to be a major shakeup when the divine does it. It's going to be a huge shakeup. Like, they may, they may end up being homeless, both of them. I'm seeing a house fire. I am. I'm seeing a house fire. And right now, you know, it's like those shows, right? Those haunting shows or whatever, where the medium goes into the house and she's like, oh, there's a lot of spirits in here, right? That's what this is. There's a dark entity, at least one, from the spell work, okay? That's the shadow figure. And then we have um, the ancestors and the spirit guides coming in to go um, be haunting them as well. So there's a lot of supernatural activity in this home one that they're afraid of too it's making them crazy it really is literally making them crazy it's making them if you're around a dark entity um, especially one that's been sent out to attack right if it can't attack a divine being it's going to go reach be returned to sender that that spell that entity it still feels like it has a job to do so it's going to attack the one who issued it and it is in this home i'm telling you the divine's going to handle that their own way and it's going to be bad it's going to be big and bad okay <laughs> um yeah they're bringing it down and these two are about to, it's over. It says right here, it's over. They're going to break up. All right, give me one more. Jeez, guys, I can't even believe the situation these people are in. Honestly, I, I wouldn't want to step foot in that house. I, I, I don't think I could be even near the house. Okay. Somebody over here is cheating, too, having a one-night stand, hooking up. I feel like it's the karmic partner, maybe, that's doing it. I don't know why I'm feeling that way. Having a fling with somebody else, thinking that the grass is going to be greener. Yeah, I feel like it's the karmic that's about to leave this masculine behind. I feel like they found somebody, they're going to find somebody else who's going to provide more money for them. Because I feel like they're draining this masculine of their finances. Yeah, and I, I feel like they're hooking up with somebody else that they think that they can, um, they think they can get more from. Okay, so they're about to leave this masculine. It's it, it's just really kind of a crazy situation, you guys. I. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know how to describe the, the intensity of what's going on in this little home here, you know? 
unfinished business. I feel like when they break up, the karmic is going to leave the masculine first, and then the car, uh, the masculine is coming towards you, okay, with an offer, with with flowers in hand. Yeah, use your intuition here. They could even be getting some tarot card readings about you. Back and forth baggage. This person's going to be bringing some baggage with them, okay? Um... I feel like you need to do a home cleansing. I, I, I will be honest with you. Um, you know, take some oil too or something and anoint outside your building, your home, okay? All, all on the windows, the doors. Sprinkle salt and cinnamon, um, a line of it around your house, right? Say your prayers. Ask for divine protection because this masculine is coming towards you but I'm not so sure that um, they're coming alone, okay, with all of the hauntings. Well, if the divine burns down the house, yeah, I don't think you're going to have a problem. But otherwise, they could possibly bring an entity, okay? And I want to make sure that you stay clean and free. Um, I, I feel like you have divine protection, but man... Don't let anything negative cross that threshold. Do you see what I'm saying? So do a home cleansing. Say some prayers every day. You know, um, you know, set out some water for the divine, that kind of thing. Um, take your spiritual baths, right? Protect that energy. Because um, there is somebody from this home that's about to return to you. And I'm telling you, there's so much activity in this home right now. It's sick. I wouldn't even be able to step foot in the door. Okay? Wow. Um, so protect yourself, collective. Okay? Protect yourself. All right. So what else can you show me here? Uh, this is just, you know, they shouldn't have done so much spell work. They, sh they, try they wanted to win at all costs. It's costing them a lot. Here. It's costing them their sanity, their home, their relationship, money. You are the one and only. This is what your person wants to say. I'm secretly obsessed with you. Yeah, we kind of already knew that. And that energy, too, is also helping to feed the ent entities in this home. Okay? So that obsession... The frustration, whatever entity that they've unleashed with spell work, they're feeding off of that. Okay? Don't forget about me. I haven't forgotten about you. I love you so much, no matter what. I'm afraid of hurting you. I feel like this person's just afraid. <laughs> you know, seriously. They're afraid of what's in this home. They're afraid of the toxic partner that they're with. They're about to find out that this partner's going to leave them for someone else anyway. Honestly, I did, there's not a single reason why they're even still in the, either one of them are still in this situation. I don't know why they're still there. Because the karmic wants to win. I love you today, tomorrow, and always. I was just a fool for not admitting it earlier. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. Yeah, I remember how we used to laugh and talk for hours about everything. And they miss you. Yeah, see, you, they all they can think about, like you were their salvation. It, it feels like that to me. It's like they want to run to you, right? They can't get over, oh no, not again. Okay, you guys, that's, um, I got to close out this, this reading because there was literally nothing wrong with my camera. My battery was new. It gave me some kind of weird little, I couldn't even read it. It was that fast. Some little alert on my, on my camera, and then the camera died. That's this energy trying to kind of get through this reading, and I need to clear this energy off of my table. I'm not having it, okay? I'm not. It's... I'm that serious about how badly they're being haunted, okay? I don't like it. I want it off of my board. Um, but I'll pull you just a couple more cards. I'm moving on with my life. 
I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I, they're going to know. They're going to be better off separated from this karmic. They need to get out of that home situation. And I'm telling you, if they don't leave this situation, the divine is bringing it down. They're bringing it down. Yes, they are. It is, it is a freak fest over there. I literally don't know how they're living there. Okay. 